Right, in today's video, it is the ultimate underdog tactic. I have got three consecutive promotions with a team that were predicted to finish bottom and second bottom over the last two seasons. We've jumped from the Vanarama National League to the Championship within three seasons. Let's get into it. Smash a like on today's video. Let me know how this tactic works for you. I'm going to go through the instructions. Links down in the description as well. It takes you over to FM Scout where you can download the tactics for free. Put them into your game, as I said. Let me know how it works for you. All right, let's get into today's tactic video. Right, here it is. The underdog tactic I've been using over the last three, four seasons. A few little tweaks, but it has stayed pretty much the same. Attacking mentality, inverted wingbacks. Last season, in League One, we were predicted to finish 24th. We got ourselves into the playoffs and got promoted. The season before that, we were predicted to finish bottom. And we won the league with 98 points. 82 goals scored, less than, even though it's an attacking mentality, a less than a goal a game conceded, 38 goals in 46 games. And then the season before that, we were expected to finish in the playoffs. We smashed the Vanarama National League, thank God, to get out of that division. And we scored 106 points, scoring 93. And once again, the goals conceded is pretty low. Okay, right, so the tactic in general, now they, we, we often change between attacking and positive. Positive, I find, is a little bit, a little, obviously a little bit more structured. We just struggle at times to break teams down. So at the moment, and over the last season, we've just been on attacking and it seems to have helped to score more goals in games. Possession-wise, we dominate the possession. In each of those last three seasons, we have had the most passes, most possession. All the possessions have been over 60% throughout the season. So very heavily possession based but obviously a couple of things that you need to make sure that you just tweak the attacking you never really have to go on to control or cautious, sorry, cautious or defensive sometimes I slow the tempo right down to control games but I always go positive and that just helps us keep the ball all right so here it is a 4-3-3 goalkeeper sweeper keeper on attack inverted wing back instruction tackle ad now the idea is is that I'm not asking him to go on the overlap. We've kind of got the overlap on the other side, but what I'm wanting him to do is just to come into these areas here. Even though we've got an inverted winger ahead of him, the inverted winger is kind of doing like a Mares where he's staying really wide. We've got an instruction there to stay wider, so he doesn't need to go on the overlap. And then what we're asking him to do is to pick up the balls in here from little cutbacks, and he can cross from deep. He could slip through balls. He can also go on the underlap. So inverted wing back on support has worked really well. Two central defenders on defend, absolutely no player instructions. And on this side, Sergeant, the left back, we've just asked him to sit narrow. What I've found is it's just going to help us a little bit more defensively. We're not asking a massive deal from our fullbacks. He will go on the overlap. So even though he's sitting narrow, he will go on the overlap. Don't worry. Middle of midfield, the midfield three. I have got my half back to take more risks, tackle harder and mark tighter. And as I said, he sits in here. Sometimes he drops off. I think it's important for this position here, the halfback and the box-to-box -box midfielder, that you've got someone... Uh, I like to have players that are over six foot. If you can, have good uh, attributes for sort of like, you know, strength, stamina, tackling, that sort of thing. But halfback, with those player instructions, I'll show you again. Tackle, take more risks, tackle hard and mark tighter. Box-to-box, -box, standard box-to-box -box midfielder. And then the central midfielder on attack, no player instructions. The inverted winger, we're asking to stay wider initially and then run from position so when the ball's on the other side of the pitch it'll often come into sort of like these areas here but what we're doing is because we've got not we're because we generally don't get an overlap we do get it the inverted wing back will still go on the overlap every now and again but generally doesn't I want him to stay nice and wide so just makes that pitch a little bit bigger when we got the ball on the other side as well we're not asking him to stay wider because Sergeant will get round a little bit more but we're asking him to roam from position once again. This is kind of been based off a Bielsa tactic that I did a while ago on the channel. And I've kind of tweaked it to kind of suit the players that we have. If you weren't aware, this save, Athletic Club York, I'm only allowed to sign players born in Yorkshire or have come through my youth system. So I'm not allowed to reshape the squad every single season. I'm having to play players. A lot of these players that I've got in this team, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're all playing for me in the Vanarama National League and now we're in the Championship. So Hume, no instructions. And then the pressing forward on support, I've just got him to shoot more often. You need this guy to, have, to be good without the ball. Back to goal, that's what we're in. And what he tends to do is drift into these areas here and then it allows players like Hume, who had a really good season for us last year. 12 goals, 16 assists the season before. 13 goals from the wide areas. And then he'll often get get above and beyond uh, the right right side midfield will get above and beyond 
the central midfield on attack will definitely get forward. And Hackney as well, the box-to-box -box midfielder, does like to get into the box. So the idea is that he drifts out, pulls a couple of defenders with him, and then that allows that space in behind for the wide players and the central midfielders to attack from deep. Right, in possession, wide attacking width, open out the play as much as we possibly can. Remember them two wide players and what that does is just open up the back line. We're trying to work passes into the box, as you can see, work the ball into the box. So we really want to string their back line of a back four or back five as wide as possible. We're underlapping on the right because we've got that inverted wing back and we've got that central midfielder on attack. Left hand side, we've not, we've left it. We will get, we'll, we will see the left back get round every now and again on full back. Passing directness shorter. We've had it very short, but I just find it it just does a little bit too much sideways passing. You really want to dominate the ball a little bit more. You want to even maybe wear games out a little bit, put it on much shorter passing, keep the tempo the same. At times we've moved it down. If we want to control games a little bit more and lower that down, if I'm not happy with the possession stats, if I think it's been a little bit rushed towards the end of games, we'll often move that down to lower. Work the ball into the box because we've got the movement, the runs. We're trying to really pass the ball into the box by having the launch it. In the past as well, we've had players that have been up front that haven't been great at heading. No other instructions there. In transition, we're counter-pressing, obviously, countering. We're distributing to the centre-halves. Remember, the centre-halves are not on ball-playing defender. I don't want them to try and do long-raking passes, hit channels, hit switches. I'm wanting to build up from the back that we'll often get a 3v2 in because we've got the half-back. The half-back often drops in to make a back three, allows our full-backs just to get forward a little bit more, and then we can break the lines if there's a high press. Works really well. And then out of possession, use the offside trap. We've been really aggressive. This is really aggressive here. Offside trap, high line of engagement, use tighter marking. I did have the trigger press on a little bit of everything, but I did find it we just tend to break our shape a little bit too much. And as we've been going out up the leagues, we just get caught. So just be careful with that. Defensive width. Force opposition out wide as well. We'll get nice and narrow when we can. Now, a couple of things to consider is potentially having this side very aggressive. You could even have this as like a wing back on attack and making sure he's getting around that left hand side. I would then take off sit narrower. I've also changed this role. We've gone with, I think if you if you're playing it in a high league or you've got someone who can do complete forward, complete forward on support would be absolutely ideal for that role there. And then once again, make sure I always keep my defenders on central defend, on defend rather than ball playing defenders, just so we help keep possession. And what you'll get is this half back coming into here, making a back three. He will then, when the ball's in the final third, he'll just sit in these areas here and scoop up any balls that are coming out. Helps us rein, re, regain possession, retain possession as well. It helps us switch play. We'll have to go into these wide areas and because we're working it into the box, We'll then pass around the edge of the 18. We'll drop it back to the halfback. It will then switch a ball out to the right-hand side. If you can, I've really struggled for a goal scorer. I think this tactic could be a lot better because of the, ta uh, the transfer restrictions I've put on my team. We've really struggled to score goals generally with our centre-forward. We get around 15 or 20, but when you're top of the league, you kind of want more. So hopefully you've got a, deep, a better goal scorer than what I've got in my squad. All right, there it is. Let me know how it works for you. Let me know down in the description if it works for you. It can work not just for lower leagues. I imagine it'll work Premier League as well, especially if you can get like complete wing back, complete, complete forward in there. You'll be absolutely rocking. And let me know what you think of the inverted wing back. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Smash a like on today's video, muchly appreciated. Subscribe for more tactical videos every Thursday. And yeah, this is my Let's Play series that I'm doing on the channel. So make sure you go check it out. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. See you later.